Hi, in this video we'll learn how to determine whether each function shows y as a function of x. So um, let's talk about function a little bit before we um, solve these examples. So here I have a function, uh, well I don't know whether this is a function or not, but we'll talk about it. Uh, so uh, function is a relation in which every um, input has exactly one output, or you can say that every x value has exactly one corresponding value. So if a single output does not have exactly one output, then that is not a function. So here you can see that if, um, if I plug in x equals one, then I'm getting, um, out my output is eight. Then when I plug in, um, uh, when I plug in x equals 5 here, my output is 4. And then when I'm, when I'm giving x equals 1, when I'm plugging x equals 1, well, 1, my output is 9 here. So here, what do you see? What do you notice here? That when I'm plugging x equals 1 into this function, it's giving me 8. And then the next time when I'm plugging x equals 1 into this function, it's giving me 9. That means it's just giving me random values. When I'm plugging x equals 1 in this function, one time it is giving me 8, the next time it's giving me 9. Maybe the next time it might give me 10 or uh, whatever. So this is not a function since um, of, uh, since uh, one single input is not generating exactly one output. The single input is generating two different outputs. That's why this is not a function. So let's take a look at this example now y is equal to plus and minus 2x square. Now, uh, if you plug in x equals anything, so for any value of x, you plug in this, in this equation, you should get a unique value of y. If you're not getting the unique value of y for any values of x, for, then this is not a function. So what we're gonna do is we'll plug in different values of x and see if we get the unique value for y. Now, suppose if we plug in x equals one in this equation, then see what we get. So if I plug in x equals 1 into this equation, I have y is equal to plus and minus 2. Now instead of x, I'll just put 1 here. So this is going to be 1 square. Then y is equal to plus and minus 2. 1 square is going to be 1. And 2 times 1 will be 1. So when you plug in x equals 1 into this function, you're generating two different results. The first one is positive 2. The second is negative 2. So you're not, you're getting two different values for y for same value of x. For same value of x, you're getting two different values of y. That's why this is not a function. This is not a function. Um, let's take a look at this example. y is equal to x cubed minus 3. Um, good thing is this is also solved for y. So we just have to, what we have to do is we have to plug in different values of x and see if we're getting the unique values for y. So suppose if I plug in x equals to 1 in this equation, then what is my y value? y is equal to, in place of x, I'll, sub, I'll, I'll put 1 here. This is going to be 1 cubed minus 3. And 1 cubed will be 1. And 1 minus 3 is going to be negative 2. So when I plug in x equals 1, y is negative 2. Now let's plug in x equals negative 1 into this equation and see what we get here. So if I if I put x equals negative 1, so then negative 1 will be, so here, if I put an x equals negative 1, so this will be negative 1 cubed minus 3. So negative 1 cubed is going to be negative 1, and negative 1 minus 3 will be negative 4. So when I'm plugging x equals negative 1, y is equal to negative 4. Now you can plug in any random value for x. So uh you can you can you can try x equals two you can try x equals five or x equals negative four or any value for any value you plug in for x you will you will see that you're getting a unique unique result for y so this is a function this is a function now let's take a look at another example um next example is x plus y square is equal to 10. Now this example is a little bit different than these because these examples were already solved for y but this equation is not solved for y. So we'll, first of all what we have to do is we have to solve this equation for y. For solving this equation for y I will have to eliminate x from the left hand side. So I'll be subtracting x on both the sides, subtracting x, then positive x and negative x will cancel out each other. On the left hand side I have y square is equal to negative x plus 10. Now you can also write this as 10 minus x, it's up to you, it's the same thing. 
Now you see that I have y squared. This is not solved for y. I have to solve this for y. So to undo square, what I have to do is I, have, I will have to take the square root of both the sides. So when we undo square, we take the square root of both the sides. So I'll be taking the square root of both the sides. This will be square root of y square is equal to square root of negative x plus 10. Now, square, uh, square root and square will cancel out each other. I'm only left with y on the left hand side. On the right hand side, I have to be careful. Whenever I take the square root, I will have to include plus and minus sign here. And then I will write the square root negative x plus 10. Okay, now what, uh, what we have to do is we will plug in different values of x and see if we get a unique value for y. Okay, so suppose if you plug in x equals 1 into this equation, what will you get? If you plug in x equals 1 in this equation, then this will be negative 1 plus 10. Because you're putting x equals 1, so this will be negative 1 plus 10. And negative 1 plus 10 is going to be 9. So this will be, let's, let's do it here, y is equal to plus and minus, if you plug in x equals 1 here, so this will be negative 1 plus 10, and then y will be equal to plus and minus, negative uh, 1 plus 10 is going to be 9, so you will have 9 here. Now when you take the square root of 9 is 3, so this will be plus and minus 3. So when you plug in x equals 1, you're getting two different results plus 3, positive 3, and negative 3. So you're generating two different results for the same value of x. That's why this is not a function. This is not a function. So it's pretty simple. Uh, whenever you have to determine if equation shows y is a function of x, what you have to do is you have to solve it for y if the equation is not already solved. And then you just plug in different values of x and see if you're getting a you're getting a unique value of y. If you're getting a unique value of y, then that is a function. If you're getting two uh, different answers uh, for um, for uh, y for the same value of x, then that is not a function. So this was my first example. This is my second example, and this is my third example. Uh, that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in next video.